Well, I suppose I should talk about Gunther Stark, right? <sighs> is that what I should do? You know, what's funny is um, I'll just read the article from the front page of WrestlingObserver.com and then I'll, I'll get going here. Had a lot of people in the chat going, oh, how long is this? Brian going to rant for... I don't know what I'm going to do. I never know what I'm going to do, guys. There's no plan. I don't know if you figured that out or not on this show. It's true. So this from WrestlingObserver.com. The end of NXT saw Walter announcing a new name for himself. Walter announced himself as Gunther after defeating Roderick Strong on tonight's NXT with an air raid crash and a powerbomb. After Walter announced the name change... Fabian Eichner and Marcel Bartel ran in and attacked Strong. The Creed brothers then ran in, and the teams brawled to end the show. On January 13, WWE filed a trademark with the United States Patent and Trademark Office for the name Gunther Stark. That is also the name of a Nazi military commander during World War II who died after his vessel sunk in the English Channel in 1944. The last name was not mentioned on tonight's show. I like to tell these stories the way that the stories unfolded to me. You know what I'm saying? So yesterday, I got a random text, because I don't watch these shows live, because I'm on the West Coast. I have to watch them on delay. And uh, somebody texted me out of the blue and said, I don't want to spoil you, but there's a new gimmick, and someone has a new name. Good luck. I thought, hmm. What's going on here? So, you know, I don't mind spoilers. I, uh, shows always get spoiled for me. So then I start looking around, and uh, uh, everywhere I look, uh, on our board, Twitter, etc., I'm bombarded with the fact that WWE has renamed Valter. They have given him the name of a Nazi. Now, I, I, I mean, I mean, listen. There were a lot of Nazis, okay, you know, lots of them, and uh, they had a lot of names, obviously. Uh, but this particular Nazi was was famous enough that, like, you Google him and he comes right up. He's not some random Nazi. So I was like, what? Wait a second. I hate to laugh about this, but like. This is a new level. I mean, it's not every day that, you know, WWE renames Volter. They name him after a Nazi. Not every day that that happens. That, I have to admit, is a new one. So I'm like, what? And, you know, so I start watching the show. And uh, the show starts, and they announce, Tonight, Roderick Strong will face Volter. I'm like, okay. So then the announcers start talking about it's uh, Roderick Strong versus Walter tonight. So I'm watching the whole show. No mention of the name Gunther Stark. And, uh, and then finally, it's time for the main event. And, uh, you know, the ring announcer says, Coming to the ring, Walter. It comes down to the ring. And, uh, like, I'm watching this whole show and I'm like, Okay. This is like something that, you know, I imagined. He's actually still still Volter. I don't know what everyone's all angry about. And then, of course, at the end of the show, uh, he announces she's about to announce him the winner because, in fact, he beat Roderick Strong. And uh, he announces, no, the winner of this match is Gunther. And then him and Imperium, you know, beat down Roderick Strong. And I was like, my God, he, he's actually, he's he's Gunther Stark. They have, they have trademarked the name of a Nazi... For for uh, for for Walter, so then you know I'm just thinking, what in God's name? And then I start getting messages from from a number of people, and uh, this is this story is is baffling to me because there this is literally a I can't even believe I'm saying this, but a polarizing topic, okay? Because. There's the one side that is that is absolutely appalled that WWE has trademarked the name of a Nazi for Walter, and then, and this was not one person, I might add. I had I had several people, a number of people, in fact, that don't see this as a big deal at all. Okay, and you're probably wondering, well, how could they not see this as a big deal? Well, the first argument was. 
Well, you know, the 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 talent gets to pick their name. So, you know, Walter, and we don't know this for sure, but I mean, you know, in, in most cases, what happens is they say, okay, you can no longer be Walter. Come up with like 10 names and then we'll pick one of them. So Walter writes down 10 names and they go, oh, you know, I really like this Gunther Stark. That sounds like a cool name. And so then, you know, he ends up being Gunther Stark. So the first argument was, well, everyone's mad at Vince and WWE, but, you know, there's a pretty good chance that Walter himself is the one who came up with the name Gunther Stark, okay? Now, no one said one way or the other, but uh, that was that was the first deal. Maybe this is all Walter's idea. All right. So then the other argument was, well, you know, they never called him Gunther Stark. They only called him Gunther. <laughs> I'm like... Well, they trademarked the whole name. So the thing that baffles me is, okay, all right. Let's say that this was not a WWE idea. Let's say that this was not Vince or whoever saying, hey, I got an idea. Let's name him after a, a famous Nazi. You know, it was his idea. If, if you, the listener, owned WWE... And somebody came up with a list and you narrowed it down to Gunther Stark, okay? There's nobody in this billion-dollar company who's tasked with typing a name into Google, okay? Right? Like, you don't want, you don't want some, some woman to uh, debut on the main roster as Jenna Jameson, right? That's a famous female porn star. You don't want your 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 superstars named after porn stars, right? You don't want some kid saying, oh man, I like that Jenna Jameson, let me Google her, and all of a sudden, you know what comes up? That doesn't happen, right? You, you would think that they would, would want to make sure that whatever name somebody came up with was not like an infamous name. I would go as far as to say that Gunther Stark would be an infamous name. So the first question is, you're telling me that nobody bothered to Google the name Gunther Stark. Okay, well then maybe, you know, and we'll talk about why it's possible no one bothered to Google this name. So then, you know, you trademark, the, you go all the way to trademarking the name of this Nazi. And then, of course, word gets out that you trademarked the name of a Nazi. So you're telling me that to avoid controversy, your plan is not to say, Walter, we need a different name, but instead to go, well, we'll just call him Gunther. There's more. I'll get to it after the break. Observer Live. I can't even believe I'm still going here. Mike will join us here at some point here. But I, I look on the chat here, and I got a guy going, well, he's not a famous Nazi. Bro, what? listen, he's not Adolf Hitler, okay? But uh, how many Nazis do you think there were, okay? Plenty. 99.9999999% of them. If you Google their name, nothing's going to come up. You Google Gunther Stark's name, and it comes up immediately. Of course, now you have to search back a few pages, because now when you Google Gunther Stark, it's all WWE and stories about WWE. But anyway... The point of this is, again, if it were your company and someone came up to you and they wanted to be named Gunther Stark, A, no one Googles it, and B, when you start to get blowback from fans, you don't just give them a totally different name, but you keep the Gunther. Now it's okay. That's the idea here? Many people are arguing that, and I'm like, well, what if, what if he'd come up to you and said, I want to use the name Adolf Hitler? Joseph Goebbels. Are you okay with that one? Benito Mussolini, because his favorite baseball player was Benito Santia. No! They get no, you get nothing on this. Nothing. This idiot spit care. take. Somebody banned spit take. He goes, you know, Gunther is a common German name, right? Well, yeah, but they didn't trademark Gunther. I am they so They trademarked sick. Gunther Stark. And the chances are, since they trademarked the whole name, that if they hadn't gotten blowback, he would have been Gunther Stark. Exactly. But they got blowback, and so they dropped the Stark part. It's exa so exactly. So to you, that makes it okay? So if, if, if Walter came up to you and he goes, hey, you know what? I, I got a great name for a character. Adolf Hitler. All right, let's trademark Adolf Hitler for entertainment purposes because when you do a trademark that's what it's for so you trademark adolf hitler and then fans go what you trademark the name adolf hitler for entertainment purposes and they're like oh i'm embarrassed now as a company 
Well, we'll just call him Adolf. Now that's okay? Hmm. Interesting. They get no benefit of the doubt. I don't care if Walter wanted to call himself that. You still have to go through. If I say something on air, I'm going to be named as part of the lawsuit. But if somebody wants to sue, they're coming after Brian. Okay, because that's where the buck stops. So that's how that works. And it's they were the ones responsible for this. And they're the ones that actually went ahead and trademarked the whole name. And if it wasn't people yesterday, a couple of people kind of cringed when I said, you know, a lot of the old white guys that prop up Martin Luther King and they never actually make their way past that. And they look at that as uh, this is what we know about culture and race and then everything else be damned like actual real issues. And this is how we end up with crime time and Mexicals and Hirohito. Do you remember that one, Brian? Do you remember Hirohito, yeah, World War II one. ace? Yes, Kenzo Suzuki. And do you know why they, they stopped that? They got blowback. And do you know how they responded to that blowback? Apparently Vince was pissed that he got blowback for this wonderful idea of Hirohito as the Kenzo Suzuki is his grandson looking for revenge on you know the bombs being dropped on America. He's going to take this out on wrestlers. They get no benefit of the doubt because of how they've done everything. This was not an oversight or a mistake. Obviously it was, but I'm sorry when you continue to play the these games and you continue to do the things that you've done sorry you get no benefit of the doubt for this and bottom line is it's a sloppy shop anyway because even if everything you take it at face value that this is because more than one person has said to me well what if gunter really wanted this that's fine but somebody's got to sign off on all of these things on top of the fact it's a stupid idea I don't hey. care if he didn't want to be Walter. He's been Walter on the Royal Rumble. He was Walter for the entire show. Why now? Why now? You know, I got to add one thing here because somebody uh, made a good point there in the uh, in the chat. And uh, this is also a chance to get a plug-in. If you're in the Bothell area, we got a yoga studio. We've opened up in conjunction with the uh, Karate and Jiu-Jitsu School. So uh, if you want to do some yoga in Bothell, free trial, yeah. you can go to cedartreeyoga.com. What does that have to do with all of this? I'll tell you. So when we, uh, when we decided we were going to uh, branch out to do this studio, uh, the guy that owns the school says, well, what do you want to use for a name? And so... Does this sound familiar? What do you want to use for a name? And so uh, we had to think of some names, and uh, we, we thought, I got an idea. How about uh, Cedar Tree Yoga? And the first thing this guy said was, well, we don't, we're going to have to Google it. Because before you can register it as a business name, you have to check to see if there's any other Cedar Tree Yoga in the state of Washington. So this, by the way, this kind of... You know, the idea that, oh, well, you know, someone came up with the name Gunther Stark and nobody bothered to Google it before they trademarked it. That's impossible because before you go to trademark the name, you need to Google to see if there is another Gunther Stark or whatever name you came up with. So, in fact, the idea that, oh, we didn't know until after it was trademarked. No, you would have had to have Googled the name before you can go to try to apply for a trademark for the name. Hey, girl, how was your New Year's? Oh, it was so much fun. Brooks and I put our boots on, and we did a little Texas two-step. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not like that. Daddy, these girls are so ew. Um, who are you? I'm Wendy Chu. And why are you looking at me like a ham sandwich? Wendy who? Ham sandwich? <laughs> Wendy Chu, then it ends. Bro, that was like easily a thousand times better than what they did. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.